In 2020, changing the height of a window above the finished floor is a little tricky uh, to find. So here's a window, and if you double click on the window, you'll see that you can easily adjust the width of the window and the height of the window itself. However, the height above finished floor is again a little bit harder to find. So um, the first thing you'll probably want to do is check and see where it has been brought in, where it was originally inserted. And if you click anywhere out here in this kind of dotted area, if you just double click, a window will pop up of that elevation. So you can see, we can see here's the window. And when I dropped it in without changing anything, 2020 brought it in at 45 inches above finished floor. That's just the default. Um, so that's an easy way to check it. So right now it's 45 inches above the finished floor. And when you're done with this view, you can just right click and delete elevation area. Now let's say, let's say we wanted to change it so that the window was actually 40 inches above the finished floor. You would right click on the window twice and you're going to go right here to where it says up down. And if we click on that, we'll see it says 45 inches above the finished floor, which is what we just saw when we looked at it in elevation. So now um, I want to change this. What did I say I was going to change it to? 40 or 36? We'll say 40. We'll just say 40 inches and then say OK. So as simple as that, you just change the height. Now to double check it, you would again um, click out here anywhere to check the elevation. And we can see that if we zoom in, we can see that it is now 40 inches above the finished floor. So it didn't change the height of our window at all. The window is still 39 inches, just like it was originally. But we brought the window down so that it's only 40 inches above the finished floor. And again, to get rid of this elevation view, you just right click and delete elevation area. So again, um, that little above finished floor um, is kind of tricky to find. Uh, so I hope this helps you.